Every Wednesday during gift giving season, I will be presenting you with a unique idea for gift giving that can be created from our mixed media supplies, workshops, with a few additions. My name is Peg. Let me introduce my channel first. I think a lot of us have alcohol inks on hand, and many of us know and are comfortable with using them. I have never really utilized them before, so I purchased some alcohol inks. I have this little blower that I've also purchased, picked up some quick coat epoxy, and ran to the hardware store and bought these 4 inch by 4 inch white tiles. These white tiles are about 12 to 18 cents at the hardware store. I am choosing colors that I like that appeal to me. I'll let you choose your own, but I am going here with just a monotone in blues and some slight variation in the blue colors. I am giving it a very light puff of air from my little blower. Now, you don't need to go purchase a blower. I did because I struggle with a straw, but you can blow from a straw. You can blow on the ink yourself and receive the same result. I am choosing to utilize these colors with a mixative and the mixative I am putting on to the, instead of mixing it with the ink prior to, I'm putting the mixative onto the coaster after I have applied the ink. The mixative gives a metallic kind of glean and kind of spreads that color out just a little bit more. Anyway, that's what I found from how I'm using it. Now I'm going to go ahead and make two more, and then we're going to move into how we can package these and get them presentable for gift giving. So let me just show you these next two that I create. And I am also choosing to create them in sets of two. Not that one coaster would not be a great gift. It depends on what you're using it for. But I think these make great teacher gifts, which I'm going to give some to my, my kids for their children to use as teacher gifts. I'm also making them in colors that are, are attractive to my children. So they'll each get a set of two coasters in their holiday gifts this year. And I have chosen to keep a couple for myself, and I am utilizing them now to make sure that they are working. So the epoxy that I purchased, I made sure that on the packaging it said heat resistant. If it's not heat resistant, when you pick up your hot beverage, the coaster's going to come with it. If you choose a heat resistant resin or epoxy, then that coaster will reject the heat or the, the coaster won't pick up with the hot cup. I hope I'm making sense. But that's important when you're looking at the purchase of your, your resin or epoxy. So now that we have these coated, I think that one on the top right could use a little more blue in it for it to be more of a um, set of two there. So I'm going to add a little more blue and a little more mixative to that top right coaster. But I think the two bottom ones look pretty good together. What do you think? Do you like this so far? If you do, stick with me. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And join me every Wednesday for a different gift giving idea with the supplies that we probably have laying around in our studios right now. So now I'm adding a little bit of black to both and added a little bit of blue. I'll hit that with just a little bit of mixative to lighten it up a bit. And I think that I now have a coaster set. I will tell you that working on this non-porous tile is very forgiving because it's not adhering into the tile. And if you don't like what you have, 
some alcohol and a baby wipe will wipe everything right off of there and you can start all over again. And I did that several times, but I didn't share that with you. I shared with you the ones that I decided to keep. Now, I also did a lot of other colors. I did holiday colors and yellows and greens and reds and pinks and purples. Now I'm preparing these for packaging or preparing them to, to be more appropriate gifts. I'm going around the outside edge and putting that black border on each and making sure that that border is, is good and, and solid. And then I will flip that over and also put a black on the back of this coaster. And let's just take a look at where we are thus far. So we have these browns that I think make pretty decent little, little gifts of two. This is my first 12. I have the blues. Now you'll see the gold splatters on there. That came from a Craftsmart uh, acrylic ink pen. I just splattered it over. You can do that with a brush and ink as well. This I splattered in some white acrylic ink. And now I will mix the epoxy. This says equal parts, part A, and equal parts, part B. So you have the resin and you have the hardener. And I am choosing to cut my Solo Cup down so it, I'm not wasting a lot coming out of the cup. And you also want to make sure that you're fully protected. You don't want to get any of this on your hands. So I am gloved up, I am well ventilated, and I have a respirator on, or I have a face mask on to prevent myself from um, inhaling these fumes. Everything on the box says do it in a well-ventilated area and wear a respirator. So I am adhering to their guidelines. And it also says when you mix these two together, make sure there are no styrations showing. So you want to slowly mix, and this is speeded up, so I'm mixing very slowly and stirring slowly until that liquid is completely clear and there's no little styrations or no little lines showing in that liquid. And once I have it to that point, I am going to pour it over my coaster. And they're kind of dull looking when they're just alcohol ink on the coaster. But once we get the resin or the epoxy on there, they begin to really look nice. So the epoxy will self-level, but I'm using this craft stick just to kind of pull it to the edges and make sure that there is no area on this coaster where the coaster does not have resin. I hope I'm making sense. But when we take a look at this coaster, you want to make sure that it is side to side resin. And I can see in the upper right hand corner right now that there's a little tiny spot that that coaster is peeking through and there's no resin. I don't know if you can see it, but it's up just about a quarter of the way down. And there I'm covering it, and now you can probably tell the difference. So I just push some resin into that little hole that was there. Now we have them getting ready to package. So as I told you before, I painted into the back with the black and now I'm going over with my sharpie if there's any little speck of white I want that covered I ordered these corks I'll list my Amazon link below for these if you would like to purchase these as well they fit perfectly on here they're not an expensive purchase either um, you can use felt, cut felt. You can also buy this cork in little circles and put a circle on each corner and paint your whole uh, bottom black or whatever color you choose. And it works. I've cut a piece of book page to put in between so I'm not accidentally scratching that resin while it's still curing. And then, of course, I have my band. This is a piece of cardstock 
that I cut um, the width I wanted, the length I wanted, and put it on my gel press and printed it in the colors that I liked. I used a parchment and a raw umber. An index card that was tea stained with the to and from written, made into a tag, written with my gold paint pen, made into a tag, some gold scrap for the um, little tie at the top, and now I'm using a gold sealing wax, and I'm just dropping that onto the seal here and hitting it with a fleur de lis seal. And there we go. I think this makes a very attractive little package, and I would certainly be thrilled to receive this. I also purchased these boxes off of Amazon, the link below. Fits these coasters perfectly. They're about $1.17 each, so they're a little pricey, but for gift giving, I don't think that they're too much. And I also took these to my, my gel press. Uh, inside and outside is the color you see on the outside or on the inside. They come with a little uh, gold string. They package nicely. And there you have a very attractive little holiday gift. It could be a Valentine's gift. It could be a birthday gift. It can be any type of gift you want. But we are coming into the holiday season. So I'm going to assume that we're all thinking about the holidays. And here are the coasters that I've chosen to... To photograph, as I told you before, I have a lot of different colors. So I hope you like this. I hope you'll join me every Wednesday as we come up with some ideas for creative gifts to pull off of our out of our mixed media uh, supplies. And hit that subscribe button. The playlist will be here, so all the ideas will be together. This, of course, will be the first one in the playlist. And I want to thank you for subscribing. I want to thank you for being here. Love to hear the comments. Please comment below. And I shall say bye for now.